Folks, thanks for coming on the line with us today. My name is John Dubas. I'm a Vice President of Agent Success for Premier Marketing. We'll be spending the next hour or so exploring some of the options that we have in the state of Texas with Aetna and their Medicare portfolio. These options will include all of the markets that are covered within uh, the state of Texas for Aetna and their Medicare Advantage plans. We'll touch upon the full portfolio that they offer that includes Medicare Advantage programs, Medicare Supplement programs, the prescription drug plans, and we'll even bring into play some of the ancillary benefits available through their Senior Supplemental Options Division. A little bit of housekeeping before we start. Today's presentation is being recorded and will be sent to all who have expressed an interest in today's event. Um, the recording will be accompanied by other materials that are discussed during the course of our presentation, and we'll have a link to this recording and a PDF of the presentation itself. We want to thank you for coming on the line with us today, and we'll give you a little bit of background information about our organization before we proceed. Premier Marketing is one of the national marketing organizations. We were founded in 1968. We're part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country, and we're an insurance wholesaler that provides insurance services through independent insurance agents. We contract with agents at the highest possible commission level, vested contracts on a general basis, and we offer recruiting contracts when available and for agents and agencies who qualify. As I mentioned, we were founded in 1968, so this is our 50th year in existence. It's nice to see an organization grow from a small family-owned agency to one of the largest marketing organizations in the country. We are, in terms of production of Medicare Advantage products, the largest producer with United Healthcare, Anthem, and Meridian Care, and one of the largest carriers with a number of other Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement programs um, in, in our country. This map gives you an indication of some of the platform partners on the Integrity platform and our coverage across the United States. And we do offer a full insurance portfolio, and that includes the spectrum of Medicare programs that we mentioned, the Medicare Advantage plans, Medicare Supplement programs, and the standalone Part D prescription drug plans. We also offer a full portfolio of life insurance and annuities, including final expense and pre-need programs, long and short-term care policies, disability income programs, and ancillary benefits that are very important for us in the Medicare world, particularly if we concentrate on the sale of Medicare Advantage programs. These programs include dental vision and hearing programs, critical illness plans that include heart attack and stroke, cancer policies, and hospital indemnity programs. Why these programs have a particular interest to us and to the agents that we serve is the fact that as we enter into the annual election period, the AEP period from October 15th through December 7th, we are entering into a frenetic marketing period that delays, in essence, the compensation that we have for the sales of Medicare Advantage and prescription drug plans. CMS has dictated that compensation for agents cannot be paid until after the first of the year, once the plans are in effect. And so these programs play an integral part of our not only covering all of the needs of our prospects and clients thoroughly, it also gives us an opportunity to be compensated before the end of the year by filling the holes that people have in different programs. If you think about it with Medicare Advantage programs, a zero premium plan in many circumstances is obviously tough to turn down. And we are seeing a number of plans this year that are being offered with a give back program for the Part B premium, which actually in essence pays someone to take the coverage or frees up additional dollars in the household for additional coverage. Medicare Advantage programs overall do have certain coverages that lend to 
a person coming out of pocket to their maximum out of pocket more quickly than in other areas. Those biggest areas of concern in many circumstances are 20% coinsurance for uh, therapeutic radiology services, hence the need for a cancer plan, or challenges brought about by hospital stays with a daily hospital or per stay copayment that is dictated by the terms of the health plan that is selected. Those programs can then also be covered by hospital indemnity programs or even heart attack and stroke programs, which is a cause for many of the hospitalizations we see in the Medicare population. It's a area that enables us to cover folks very, very thoroughly and also then get paid as those policies are paid as well. By that I mean when they go into effect, our compensation then starts before the first of the year. That's also the circumstance in many Medicare supplement programs, which we have to realize that there is a lot of marketing activity for Medicare supplements during the annual election period as well, and that gives us an opportunity to make certain that we cover the full spectrum of the Medicare population. Because if you look at it, it is a huge niche market. We do cover that niche market by a full portfolio of Medicare Advantage products, which includes the vast majority of all the national carriers and a number of the very strong regional carriers as well. A full portfolio of prescription drug plans that take us across the country and give us options throughout all of the states in which we market, and then a very robust portfolio of Medicare supplement programs because there is that portion of the Medicare population where a Medicare supplement will always be their product of choice. We have had a very interesting rollout with a couple of A plus care, oh, pardon me, A rated carriers here recently with the Lumico and Union Security products that are unique in their compensation and their marketing support as well. If you haven't heard about these programs, that's something we do definitely need to talk about. In addition to those programs, you'll notice all the big boys are on the board and they're there to serve you and the prospects and clients that you serve. We speak to the Medicare niche market and we see that it is a huge opportunity. You come on just about any type of marketing seminar that deals with the Medicare population and they speak to the 10,000 plus people who are turning 65 every day as part of the boomer, baby boomer generation. And we have to realize that that's not all the people that are on Medicare. About one sixth to one seventh of the population of folks on Medicare are under the age of 65 and are part of that program as a result of a disability, either physical or mental. So it is a burgeoning market that gives us an opportunity to do day marketing with folks that recognize the need for our products and are willing and able to become enrolled in the programs. It is also a population that has certain concerns that come with it as well. And then a part of common characteristics we see in the Medicare population is the fact that a large number of them have certain chronic conditions and a large number of them deal with limited income and assets. This gives us an opportunity to help people on an ongoing basis that really need our help but are able to be marketed year-round regardless of the lock-in situation because of special election periods and that's part of the overall portfolio that we need to look to in marketing to our chosen areas. Remember, a lot of activity coming up in AEP, but there's a lot of sales that are made all year long, and we want to make certain that we deal with folks who can help us achieve our sales eject objectives throughout the year. So as we go into 2019, what are we faced with? We have some legislative changes that we need to take into account. And one of the first things that we see is a change in the 
well, I'm going to call it now the old MADP period over the last few years, a period between January 1st and Valentine's Day of February 14th, which allowed an individual to replace a Medicare Advantage program with a different arrangement. And it allowed that individual who had Medicare Advantage programs to return to original Medicare Parts A and B and complete an option for picking up a Medicare Part D program to ensure that they had prescription coverage. That is being changed beginning in 2019, where a new open enrollment period returns. For those of us who have been in this niche market for a period of time, well, it's kind of a step back into the old switch period. And a matter of speaking, some folks still refer to this new version of it as well, and it replaces the January 1st to February 14th period with an opportunity for a person who has a Medicare Advantage program in the months of January, February, and March to take advantage of a one-time opportunity to switch to a different Medicare Advantage plan, which may be necessitated by changes in a formulary, changes of tiers on a drug within a formulary, change in the provider network, within a particular um, locale or just basically someone trying a Medicare Advantage plan and decided they would prefer the original Medicare payer system with possibly additional coverage in a Medicare supplement with a prescription drug plan. It also gives the individual a chance to drop the Medicare Advantage plan and go back to original Medicare, much as the old MADP period. And it gives the individual a opportunity to pick up the standalone Part D program as well. In many cases, the vast majority of the Medicare Advantage programs do have embedded prescription coverage within them. And if you're going to drop the health plan, well, your prescription coverage goes with it. So this program gives an individual the opportunity to pick up the prescription drug coverage and it does also give them the opportunity to drop that drug coverage should they choose to do so. Why would someone take advantage of this in different circumstances? Well, as I mentioned before, they might want to go back to a Medicare supplement program. And while they have the opportunity to do that, it's important to note that this does not create a guarantee issue, a circumstance for getting back into a Medicare uh, supplement program or picking up one if they didn't have it, because they can do that. But it does give them an opportunity to exercise that that option should they choose to do so. In certain circumstances, if it's the first time for an individual uh, to leave the prescription, or pardon me, the Medicare supplement program, they may have a time period in which they can go back to that type of coverage um, through different terms than what's dictated by the open enrollment period. Some people may also return to work or have other circumstances where they drop the coverage or they may resume perhaps retirement coverage which gives them prescription coverage or decide to exercise that solely through a program available because of their service to our country as a veteran. Another thing to consider is one of the changes moving about in 2019 is a modification of the dual LIS special enrollment period. That had been a continuous special election period and coming into 2019, that SEP is no longer a monthly option. It will be changed into a quarterly basis for the first nine months of the year, plus the changes they, a person can make during AEP. These Opportunities change for a number of reasons, but it might help settle that particular market. And it is, of course, a SEP that is not available to those that are identified as at risk or potentially at risk for prescription drug abuse under drug management programs. So as we begin our discussion with some specifics about uh, 2019 programs, it is important to read our legal disclaimer at this point in time. I don't read a lot of slides, this one I'm going to, simply because of the language that's inherent within the slide. It's important to note that plan designs and service areas described in this document are pending government approval and are subject to change. 
Benefits may reflect pending in-network cost sharing and other limitations and exclusions may apply. Star ratings are current as of July 2018 and are subject to change in October when the new ratings are released. This is a confidential property of the carrier exhibited, which in this circumstance is Aetna, and is intended for agent use only. The presentation is not intended for use as marketing material for the general public. I will strongly stress to you that exhibiting this information to the beneficiary public for the folks that are um, marketed during October, November, and parts of December, this is a good way for you to get your contract canceled with a carrier's information if they determine that you have marketed before October 1st and begin selling before October 15th. Simplest way of dealing with it, don't do it. When we speak to Aetna and the products that they have available, they have a portfolio of products that is very appropriate for the Medicare population across the spectrum of beneficiaries, including the differences that some people experience based on where they live, their income, and a number of other factors. This portfolio includes Medicare Advantage programs, Medicare Supplement plans, and Medicare Part D prescription drug plans. Because of the unique nature of this organization, it also gives you an opportunity to offer additional ancillary benefits that we'll speak of later in the presentation. That brings us to benefit-specific information, and specifically in 2019, why Aetna? Why Aetna and their Medicare Advantage solutions, their prescription drug plans, and their Medicare supplement portfolio. Some of the things that you'll note right away with Aetna going into 2019 is the fact that they have done expansion in the state, additional counties are available with product, and a substantial uh, enhancement as well is the fact that a number of the existing counties that in the past had been non-commissionable are now commissionable. And you'll see that where it rings many of the metro areas and is an area what might be advantage to folks who work in central Texas out of wherever they are because that's an area that's being affected by cost plan sudden setting in Texas moving forward. About 30,000 people in the state of Texas are being affected by cost plans not being available next year because of government uh, regulations. Something to consider very carefully there as we move forward, regardless of what might be your prime market. So some interesting developments when it comes to the opportunity to sell Medicare Advantage products in the state of Texas for Aetna. As we go through the different markets, I'm not gonna go through these line by line and salt your intelligence that you can't read. Um, we will, however, make certain that this presentation, a PDF of it is sent to you along with uh, the recording of the presentation so you can walk through um, some additional uh, questioning at your leisure. When you look at Austin, we're talking about a service area of seven counties in uh, central Texas, close to the Austin area, that has a number of programs made available in that area, including a 102 Part B give back plan available in Travis and Williamson County. So right there in Austin and just north of uh, our capital. They do also have a choice PPO that is expanding into some of the surrounding counties as noted here. And the PPO premium has been reduced by $4 a month for 2019. They also, are very strong in their prescription benefits with an addition of over-the-counter benefits being available on every plan. So it, it makes a big difference for us as we look in this market and we realize that there may be a number of people where Part B program in conjunction with ancillary benefits funded by that premium reduction of their Part B uh, can be a very viable option for both them and you moving forward. Three plans, basically, a zero premium program, 
a program with the give back, as we mentioned, and the PPO with a small premium as well. A very strong benefits across the board, and you'll notice that the prescription benefits are strong, particularly in the lower tiers. Um, a small prescription deductible is part of the program, but it is a very viable option in the Austin market. When we go into Corpus Christi, we're looking at a four county service area. It too has a buyback give back plan with a $99 Part B uh, give back, which allows some of that same marketing techniques that we'll talk about in future webinars. It has an over the counter benefit available on all programs as well. And the benefits are very, very competitive moving forward. You'll notice as well in this market, Jim Wells and Duval counties are now commissionable where they have not been here in 2018. So moving forward in 2019, they are commissionable for you. Two programs available in this market, a zero premium PPO program and the $99 Part B give back plan with strong competitive benefits across the board down in Corpus Christi. When we look at Dallas-Fort Worth, we're looking at a major market, a, one of the top markets for Medicare in all over the country, and you're looking at a service area of nine counties here. They've added Collin, oh, pardon me, Kaufman County to the Choice and Value PPO programs. They've reduced the, R, uh, the premium, or pardon me, the deductible for prescription drugs. They're introducing a four-star rated PPO with a $104 give back here for the Part B. So a very strong opportunity there as well with over-the-counter benefits available on every plan in the market and maintained the Silver Sneakers Fitness Benefit, the ever popular Silver Sneakers at no additional cost in the market. The four programs give a variety of options for individuals. You have the zero, premium HMO product, a low premium PPO program with a $15 premium, a higher premium product that gives the individual some enhancements and benefits as well. And then of course, the $104 Part B give back. What makes this even more interesting is the fact that network in DFW is very strong for Aetna. And can, you can work a number of different marketing campaigns based not only on what the plans offer, but some additional things we'll discuss in just a moment. If you go out west to El Paso, you're looking at an area that is serviced in El Paso County. It's nearly 130,000 eligibles for the program. It is a open access program in a market that's dominated by plans that with other carriers require referrals. Um, they have an interesting value package as well in the fact that it's a um, substantial batch of extras for the program and includes a seamless statewide and national PPO network in many circumstances that allow them to access care outside of their immediate service area where many of these folks will travel outside of El Paso for care. The two programs that are being offered are a, a zero premium a PPO program, as we mentioned, with very strong benefits, a reasonable MOOPs you know, for both in-network and out-of-network, and you have a $127 Part B buyback, the give back of the Part B premium that falls into the category of being able to market additional products to the individual with an ancillary slant of, hey, we can help cover the hospital co-payments through a hospital indemnity program. If you have challenges with different critical illness programs, such as heart attack, stroke, or cancer, programs are available there as well. And we can enhance your dental benefit with a standalone program. And all of this is financed through the give back of your Part B program. They are, however, separate products for you, additional programs in the household, and an opportunity to be paid on those programs before the first of the year. That goes across the board with 
any of that type of marketing program in any of the markets with a, a give back plan available. When we look at Houston, a huge Medicare market, it's a area where they are also introducing a buyback, give back program into the market and a unique co-payment situation for Harris County, Houston's home county. You have a large bundle of ancillary benefits available in the market and zero premium plans that are very strong across the board. You have an option of a daily hospital copay or a per stay copay. So it's a nice way of being able to give your prospects and clients a choice in the Houston market. And you'll note that the Houston market goes into the Golden Triangle as well. So the benefits spread across Southern Texas. And even though we refer to this as Houston, well, it goes into the Beaumont area as well. Three additional programs are also available. A very moderate PPO premium program of $15 a month, an additional higher premium program that enhances different benefits, particularly uh, across the board in um, ancillary areas. And then, of course, the Part B Give Back program that allows us to be very creative in our marketing as well. When you go into the panhandle, you've got a large expansion market for Aetna. You've got here, if my math tells me correctly, six additional counties that are expansion areas that give you an opportunity to market in an area that has not been very heavily targeted in the past by any other carriers as well as Aetna. So a great expansion opportunity with strong programs, PPO programs that are four-star rated and give you an opportunity to sell very competitive plans in an area that doesn't have a lot of penetration in it at this point in time at all. If you go down into the valley, you're looking at um, some very strong programs with a strong network, uh, additional extra benefits as well. And there are programs that also include the give back for Part B programs. So much of what we keep discussing of adding additional programs and benefits into their overall benefit package helps you really preach the Medicare Solutions program that is made available through Aetna. When we go into the San Antonio market, you'll notice a lot of the same reiteration there with the benefits that are being offered. It's a an area where they have simplified the prescription benefit with one formulary for all plans. They've added the over-the-counter benefit on all the programs into the market. Um, it's a area that Aetna has enjoyed success in the past, and it looks with this benefit package that they're going to continue that into the immediate future. A great opportunity to go into an area and offer zero premium programs with a strong benefit package across the board, and also an area that gives them options with uh, PPO programs with a, a small or more moderate premium, and of course, the Part B give back premium program as well that once again gives us that marketing opportunity across the, the board to fill in additional benefits. For those who also cross the border into New Mexico, there is an introduction into two counties in New Mexico into the Albuquerque market and it is a very competitive program across the board with a zero premium and a zero co-payment for the primary care as well. You are seeing some movement in New Mexico with some of the competition with plan changes and provider changes as well, and it gives us a great opportunity in the Albuquerque market with Aetna moving forward. In other areas in the state of Texas, we have a non-metro benefit. And this is important, particularly um, if you have an interest in the cost plan opportunity, because this covers some of the counties where the, 
the carrier in the past is exiting a number of those counties. So we have an opportunity there with Aetna programs that are a zero PPO option, very strong option for these folks that are accustomed to perhaps um, less healthy, shall we put it that way, the benefits with their previous carrier and an opportunity to change to a name brand that it gives them a very viable option for their health care moving forward. When you look at the overall opportunity that is placed with uh, Aetna through their Part D programs as well, you have a viable companion to the portion of the Medicare market that are going to be Medicare supplement members regardless of some of the benefits offered by MA through different mindsets or whatever else the reasoning for that may be. It is a simplified portfolio with three different options. It is a, 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 a an opportunity to make certain that the folks that need Medicare supplements can do so very easily in conjunction with an Aetna Medicare supplement plan in the fact that some of the electronic software very easily shifts from one program to another to help facilitate enrollment for you. There are two national retail pharmacy networks that are available as well. And a number of tools that can really help you not only market the Part D programs, but give you the information you need on formularies and pharmacies for all of the Medicare plans offered by this carrier. Aetna is also unique to a degree in the fact that some folks who are Medicare supplement agents don't really care to certify for PDP programs. Aetna gives you the opportunity to still receive some income from PDP programs through their easy referral program that doesn't require the annual certification process. So something to consider in that circumstance. One of the things that I'm really, really enthused about with Aetna is the fact that they do offer very strong electronic support. Part of the challenges that we have when we go into the annual election period as independent agents is the fact that the good Lord has only given us 24 hours in the day. And part of how we can influence our success is by how well we manage our most valuable resource, which is our time. When we speak to the fact that you have a number of exciting new opportunities with Aetna based on not only their benefit package, but an expansion of commissionable areas and an expansion of service areas as well, sometimes that requires us to do well, different things that can help you do things on an electronic basis. In a previous life, one of the carriers that I worked for, we had over 80% of our applications pended because most agents write the same way that I do in Chickenese. They couldn't read the application. As you adopt an electronic process, it gives you a number of advantages than over just a paper app. One, it can help the application be processed much more quickly, which, depending upon the product spread, also means that you're paid more quickly and the application is processed more quickly and your customer has the assurance that the program will be in place. That makes a big difference for folks where you don't have them worried about second thoughts. Okay, the program's set. I can also use that electronic application process to add on additional products in many circumstances. So as we speak to a give back program in all these different markets, it gives you the opportunity to discuss additional needs for dental protection, adding them onto that, that program, additional needs for hospital indemnity programs, where the Medicare Advantage world has a daily rate in most circumstances, we saw one plan with a per admission rate, but it gives an opportunity that if you're in the hospital, it helps cover that expense at a very reasonable cost. It also gives you the opportunity to address the fear and the thought that's on many of our prospects and clients' mind in dealing with 
critical illness uh, programs, so hospital stroke, cancer programs, different plans that become very, very important to us because of either personal experience, having some of those challenges in the past, or knowing someone who had those challenges in the past, be they be friends or family, and a great way for us to make certain that we fully cover our prospects and clients on an ongoing basis. So it does a number of things, not only for the client, but for ourselves as well. And you do also have a new telephonic enrollment process available through the Ascend Virtual Sales Office app, which can make a huge difference when it comes once again to addressing windshield time and that valuable management of that limited resource. It gives us an opportunity to complete an enrollment after the initial face-to-face -face meeting has been uh, done in the past. We've all run into those circumstances where no matter how good a salesperson we may be, we also have to take into account that certain people aren't comfortable with a one call close. And after that call, and they've pondered uh, the information that you've given them and left behind with them, it many times requires a second appointment that's just going out and completing the app. Everything else is done. Well, this gives you a tool that will allow you to do that remotely, to save you the time, it allows you to complete the application on an electronic process and take care of that individual in a timely process as well. One of the things that we had here in Dallas-Fort Worth a few years ago is what we used to refer to as Isageddon. The last week of open enrollment, that first week in December, we had a massive ice storm. And even though we may have been able to fit people into our schedules on a second call basis, Mother Nature said, nope, you're not going anywhere. This type of program allows you to address that circumstance and you're able to take care of people on a very timely basis and service them appropriately. Now this program does require you to have an iPad. We've got some exciting news about that as well a little later in the presentation. One of the things that it also does for us is also in addition to saving us time, it saves us money because Texas is a darn big state and in many circumstances, the distance between our office, our home, wherever we base our agency and where the prospect or client lives, well, it might be a bit of difference uh, in, in space and time. And keep in mind, gas is still around $3 a gallon, so it takes an economic toll as well. One of the things that electronic enrollment also does for us is it makes certain that we do things compliantly because the government is very fond of insurance agents being injected into the enrollment system, sarcasm emoji here. It also allows us to make certain that because of the use of this option, we are automatically recorded and it helps protect us from complaints um, that we may otherwise endure from a remote enrollment process. One of the things that Aetna does very well as well is makes certain that we have feet on the street. We've got a couple of the Texas broker agent managers on the call today here for the Dallas-Fort Worth area, um, but this gives you a listing of those folks throughout the state. You are generally um, under the auspices of one of these individuals one way or another, and these folks can be a very, very valuable aspect or very valuable asset to you as you market Aetna programs, um, not only during EEP, but also throughout the year. One of the things we wanna make certain that we do in order to help maximize the opportunity you have with Aetna is help facilitate the relationship with your broker manager now and in the future. I'm gonna tell you, uh, my experience with these people is very favorable and you will have people there to help you market uh, a program that is a demand product anyway. So some things that we really want to make certain that we do to help you enjoy success with Aetna moving forward. And that includes what I've been alluding to throughout the presentation. In addition to that strong basic portfolio of product, and I'm not meaning to diminish the MA programs at all, where you have that strong 
medical benefit, ancillary benefit as well, prescription drugs that are just integrated right into the program. You noted, probably, that in each of these markets, you had a give back program that was available. It walks hand in hand with the senior supplemental insurance that Aetna offers as well. So you have in different markets, keep in mind all these ancillary benefits aren't all available in the state of Texas. The nursing facility care is still pending approval. Um, so you have some different things that come into play there, but that gives you an opportunity to not only address health issues, but additional concerns outside of their general well-being with doctor's visits, visits to a hospital, those stays that come into play. These different ancillary benefits can help solidify the sale of your Medicare Advantage product, because studies have shown that agents who have multiple products in a household, the persistency on each of those product, uh, products is substantially higher than if they had just one. They become then a client and not just a policyholder. But it also takes care of those areas of special concern to your prospecting client and helps them remain your product by satisfying additional needs that another agent can't get into your household with then because of it. And it allows us also to make certain that we fully discuss the needs of a Medicare beneficiary because there are concerns um, with long-term care, short-term care, uh, final expense, some of the things that are inevitable in many of our lives that otherwise we don't always remember to take care of and discuss fully as we visit with our prospects and clients. This allows you to do so, and you also have Aetna support in this area as well with feet on the street people here. You'll notice that Kevin Moore lists a Franklin, Tennessee address. This is a corporate address. He's one of the, us Texans where he lives just north of McKinney. So he's a local gentleman who also understands this market and appreciates the challenges and opportunities that it brings. So watch for some additional the webinars that we're going to have as well that speak to how to market the Part B give back programs in conjunction with ancillary products and perhaps some Medicare supplement options for folks as well. Aetna is very unique in the circumstance that they make that cross sell opportunity natural. The give back programs help subsidize ancillary products while still giving strong basic medical coverage. These hospital indemnity and cancer programs help fill holes in Medicare Advantage plans because when we speak to the Clint Eastwood description of Medicare Advantage plans and we speak to the good, the bad, and the ugly, a couple of the care subsidies that are delivered under a Medicare Advantage plan have a natural proclivity for help with a hospital indemnity and cancer plan. When we speak to the cross-selling opportunities you have with the Aetna portfolio, you go beyond, obviously, the benefits that are delivered with um, the basic medical program, and then the hospital indemnity and cancer programs help fill the holes that are in the MA plans that drive you to the maximum out-of-pocket exposure. That includes the treatment for cancer, because in many circumstances, the therapeutic radiology treatments are 20% coinsurance with the plans, and that can drive up your out-of-pocket exposure on these programs really quickly. Another area that will drive up the out-of-pocket expense as well is through hospital stays, where you have a daily rate or per stay out-of-pocket exposure, and the hospital indemnity programs help nullify that economic impact that we have seen um, in the programs occasionally. You also have an opportunity to not only cross-sell with Medicare Advantage products, but many of the Medicare supplement plans that are choices for a portion of our Medicare population, our natural pockets, our partners with these types of programs as well, 
but also with short-term care programs that are of large concern to many individuals. And as we discuss Medicare supplement plans, it gives us an opportunity to speak to the exposure that an individual has across the board with basic Medicare coverage. Most folks don't realize that long-term care is not covered by Medicare, and it gives us an opportunity to speak to that and also cover it as well. And let's face it, generally, most folks that are older need more dental coverage. I have been in households where I've sold them policies and I speak to the dental program and they'll reach into their mouth and show me their teeth and say, I don't really need coverage. And you, of course, have the opportunity and the evidence right in front of you that says, well, what if you break a plate or have some other challenges where you lose weight and your dentures don't fit the same? So there are an opportunity to walk through different programs um, based on just asking an additional question. We addressed a little bit earlier the fact that multiple sales in a household drive up persistency across the board. It gives us an opportunity, once again, to have someone become more than just a policyholder, they become a client. And we have to look at our own economic security as well. Medicare supplement and ancillary programs do pay as they are issued and funded and are not delayed until after the first of the year as Medicare Advantage and prescription drug plans are. Obviously, we don't always do what we do just for the money, but we have to make certain that we are able to fund our agency and our insurance practices on a realistic basis, and this helps not only cover the holes for your prospects and clients, but cover the holes in your wallet as well. Some of the things that we like to do here at Premier Marketing in order to take advantage of all of these benefits that we've gone through as well is the fact that we have extras that we help you with when it comes to marketing. As we went through these different programs, we keep speaking of electronic enrollment, and we keep speaking of the fact that, boy, you want to do that telephonic rate enrollment? It requires an iPad. We give you an opportunity to win one with our organization in conjunction with our partnership with Aetna. And you have multiple ways of doing it. If you write applications now, and this is still saying the third quarter, this is actually into the fourth quarter, you write applications now, it gives you an opportunity for an extra chance to win an iPad. If you are newly contracted and certifying with us, it gives you an additional chance to win. And don't worry for you folks that have been with us in the past, certifying for 2019 and selling an application, hey, that's an opportunity to win as well. And if you're on this webinar, hey, you've already got an opportunity because folks who join us and learn more about the programs that we offer in conjunction with Aetna do have an opportunity to win just by attending the webinar. We do also offer free leads in conjunction with our partners at Aetna, and we offer AHIP fee reimbursement for Aetna as well, and some direct mail co-op, and a very unique opportunity at this particular point in time of the year, and that is an opportunity to market in the Aetna Retail Sales Program. This is a program that focuses on MA markets throughout the state of Texas, it's managed by those individual broker managers that we referenced earlier in the presentation. And that has spent a lot of time and effort in determining which stores can be most successful for us. So they're focusing in taxes on CVS stores, even though there are other partners that are part of their pharmacy benefit. But they've used a 10-factor segmentation program to help determine which stores are most likely to be most successful for you in this marketing effort. It does have certain requirements on it, but one of the things that is very noteworthy here is, okay, you looked at Walmart, you looked at United's program, you looked at Blue Cross Blue Shield's program, there aren't stores available. Now, there are stores available with the Aetna program, 
And it does require you, obviously, to certify for the portfolio of products so that you're able to most efficiently market the program for it. It does require all those lovely compliance pieces that are required because of the MIPA legislation of a few years ago where we have to file our activity, activity timely, two weeks in advance. We also have to file our activity reports as we complete our shift. We want to make certain that the days and times that are part of it come into play. So this next line where it says the days and hours you wish to work the kiosk is a choice. Well, actually, Edna has set some program details where they're asking you to work Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for a 12-hour period of commitment per week. Um, but the reason they're doing that with these set hours is because of the marketing support that they're putting into the program to help maximize the value you get out of it. As a participant in this program with Premier Marketing, there is also additional detailing that we'll do with you and ask of you in order to make certain that this investment of your most valuable asset, once again, your time, pays off for you. So as you identify a target market with a store, we're going to help you identify key influencers in that market on a three to five mile basis to make certain that those influencers in the community help drive traffic to you and it helps you identify additional marketing opportunities in the area that you've chosen to concentrate on. But wait, there's even more? Yeah, we can help you get contracted very easily. For the folks that are already contracted with Aetna and haven't completed your certifications, well, you gotta do that. You gotta do that quickly. But for some of these ancillary programs um, that require a different contract, we wanna make certain that you can do so easily and do so with a full portfolio of products as well. So if you go in the Assurance Bay and create an agent profile, it enables you to contract electronically with multiple carriers much more easily than completing an individual contract with a number of different opportunities. We also offer discounted E&O to our agents. And I know a lot of agents in Texas say, well, hey, I'm with an organization and they just add me to their blanket E&O. Do you realize that that coverage is only good for the companies that you are marketing through them? This coverage is a small premium that doesn't hold you captive to just our organization, but allows you to have that coverage across the board with any insurance product that you market. That's a very, very important distinction. And we also offer discounted means of helping you keep your license with discounted continuing education bundles as well. One of the things that we really wanna make certain that we do is help you with any of the products that you have available to fully understand them and be able to look at different ways of marketing those programs effectively in your chosen market. So we have varied training programs and resources available to you, ongoing webinars such as this one, but also additional ways of accessing that information. As the webinars progress, they're being recorded and you have access to them 24 seven through the recordings of the programs. That will come to you as part of the follow-up to today's presentation, where you'll have a listing of those different educational opportunities that have occurred in the past, along with a link to the recording of that particular webinar. Additionally, you, we've heard throughout today's presentation of the advantages of electronic support. Not only do we have to make certain that we do things properly according to guidelines, sometimes we have to help with a process that keeps that straight for us. So we offer programs that help you capture a scope of appointment remotely and electronically with a system that stores that for you. Because remember, those scopes of appointments that you obtain before you discuss any Medicare programs with your prospects and clients, they're supposed to be held and stored for 10 years. Are you doing that in the, in the manner in which you need to? Do you need some help in doing that? Well, 
In addition to quote engines that help you with Medicare Supplement and Medicare Advantage programs, we also offer a program that will help you do just that in addition to other quote engines for ancillary products to balance out the needs of your prospects and clients. That electronic means of storing or of obtaining and storing the scope of appointment is part of the Medicare Center program that we offer to our contracted agents. Not only does this allow you to send marketing material electronically and compliantly it'll, after you obtain the scope of appointment by using the program, it does also give you another means to enroll electronically remotely as well. We're about to roll out a number of trainings on Medicare Center, and I urge you to participate in them. They will be recorded, and we will obviously make them available post-event as well, but it's a great way to learn more about working more efficiently with your prospects and clients. For those folks who want to create and maintain a presence on social media, we do have another program that can put that on autopilot for you. Coverage made easy. There are also recorded webinars on this and additional staging of information for this program and once again, we urge you to take advantage of this program as well. There are also additional lead programs that we can make available to you. For programs that do allow cold calling, dental programs do, great response. Final expense programs do, pretty good response. Medicare supplement programs do, with the exception of one carrier. And it's a great way to market effectively. And in my days of personal production, Getting on the phone and cold calling for med sup programs helped keep me sharp. It's just a way to sharpen the blade. It's also a way to get into program, get into households with demand programs to help them recognize a need, but also for us to put them in our book of business so we have them where we can reach out to them on a continuous basis to stay in front of them, to drive up our persistency, but also to market additional programs. We do also offer different sales tracks that help you with community-based programs. We spoke to the CVS opportunity that is available through Aetna. Having that program in place doesn't guarantee success. We don't ask you to put your eggs in one basket regardless of what the marketing program is. But as you diversify, your means of reaching out to people, it gives you an opportunity to piggyback one event over another and make them all more effective, including retail marketing. And one of the ways that you do that is through centers of influence in the community around your chosen retail site, working with faith-based organizations. Providers in that particular market can make you very successful not only just with your retail opportunity, but create other opportunities outside of that location. One of the things to remember as well is as we go into EEP, many of the carriers will offer prospects generated by their efforts. That's one of the things we alluded to earlier in our presentation where we're offering leads generated by Aetna marketing material. So that's something to be very, very aware of, and it's something to realize that it's not going to just everybody. In order for this to be very successful, you look to be a partner with Aetna. So you're going to look to generate business on your own as well, and they're going to reciprocate by offering assistance with even more people to visit. There are means that, as well for you to generate leads on the internet. I remind you that anything you do on the internet or on social media has to be handled pretty much in the same way of using mail or something else. We're all subject to certain requirements that come of us, but many agents have experienced a lot of success by using the internet to drive business to their agency. And there are, of course, the tried and true direct mail programs, including one that is offered through our organization that helps subsidize that cost based on your production. It's a great way to put the hamster on the wheel and keep it rolling for you because mail is like a, an exercise program. As I rub my big old belly as we speak of this, 
it is most effective when you do it consistently. So getting on a schedule and staying on a schedule helps even out those peaks and valleys that we have in our marketing cycle and doing it consistently drives your production, but it also drives down your costs. It does also help you own a particular market. So if you are doing community-based programs in an area, coupling that with a direct mail program helps drive the success of all the options that you've put in your marketing basket as well. What we're looking to do is help you be successful, help you drive revenue to your agency, and then do that in partnership with you. We'll earn your business, but we're asking you for it now as well. So as you go through and you consider the strong benefit package that Aetna has, the portfolio of products that they offer, look very carefully as to how we can integrate this carrier into your personal marketing program. Let's agree to a program of making it work. We do the homework that is required of us through contracting and certification and study and make that commitment to market and do it now. Because there's that old expression of when all is said and done, more is said than done, we're going to take care of that. We're doing it in the uh, best replication of the Nike saying of just do it. That's us. You have feet on the street here with our organization in the great state of Texas. This is contact information for us here. Um, that toll-free number, 1-800-365-8208, will allow you to reach any of your premier uh, agent success managers, the folks that are your marketers that are working with you now, have in the past, look to in the future. These are the folks that are based in Texas. This also gives you the opportunity to reach people um, that have been your national contacts for years as well. Um, we want to make certain that we give you an opportunity to work on a one-on-one -on -one, one basis with people within our organization that are vested in your success and are committed to help you do the best that you can on an ongoing basis. We're not looking for a one-shot opportunity here. We're looking to do things on a consistent basis. Some of the things that we'll do with Aetna in partnership with Aetna are going to be replicated throughout the year, not just for AEP. So if we look at some of those different marketing programs, they give you an opportunity to sell all year long. Part of what enables us to do that is by having a good head start, and that means we have to do it now. John Wayne and the Cowboys said, we're burning daylight. We're nearly at the end of August. We're burning daylight. We're asking you for your business. Give us a call at 1-800-365-8208. Visit our website at premiersmi.com. Watch for the follow-up to today's presentation. Um, our folks will be reaching out to you as well to make certain that we integrate the opportunities you have across the board as part of this overall opportunity. I want to thank you for coming on the line with us today. I appreciate the investment that you have made of your day with us today. I apologize for the technical difficulty we had about halfway through today's presentation, but watch for the follow-up. We're gonna make certain that the recording of this presentation comes to you on a timely basis, along with additional information on the different programs that we've discussed. We look forward to your partnership, and in the meantime, we wish you a good selling. Thanks so much, we'll talk with you soon.